Last year in 2022, my large project that I did for Christmas was um, an advent calendar. And it was like a three-part video. This is what it looked like. For this year, my larger project is something that I have been wanting to try, kind of dreamed up, and basically it's like a Christmas village, sort of, but in a shadow box. So I first started looking at pictures of places that had beautiful decor decorations for Christmas. Looked at a lot of towns to like top 20 places to go at Christmas time. Leavenworth, Washington was the one I kind of fell in love with. It's very Bavarian style. And so at least two of the three storefront shops that I'm going to do are patterned after that. This is what I've drawn for the center. It is the toy shop. I'm going to be making this out of foam core. I had drawn that it was only going to be about three inches deep. I'm still debating on that at this moment. I may have to go four, but I'd like to keep it at three. I'm just going to have to see how it goes. Now what I've drawn here on graph paper, each block is an inch. This little toy shop is seven and three eighths inches wide and I think about 14 inches tall. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 inches tall to the peak. I'm going to be doing it in sections and so sections of walls. So what I've done is I've marked with a pen what needs to be cut out as a wall. I'm gonna start with this first one right here. The reason I'm not going all the way across is because this wall is recessed under a porch and this wall is also under the porch, but not as far. Now, I used my Cricut yesterday to, let's see, kind of cut out what I was thinking. I have some mistakes. Um, this wall's too long and this wall's not back far enough. I got my measurements reversed. I didn't refix it because I am going to be working off my uh, sketch to cut the phone core. But that's kind of the concept here is that it's going to have a porch just like the picture um, at Leavenworth and I'm about to show you. Now that building in Leavenworth is like three stories or four stories tall. Um, it's way too big. So I've just basically taken the, the concept of, of their design, their architectural design, and modified it. This clock here is going to be a functional clock. So, we're gonna get started. This part one will be just on the toy shop. And if it doesn't tire me out and I decide to go ahead and do building two and three, uh, then there'll be a part on two and three. So, wish me luck, here we go.
Thanks for watching and be sure and stay tuned when I finish up the toy shop. The second floor, the third floor with a real working clock tower and all the little extra features with lights and nutcrackers and reindeer in a snowy forest. But before that, we'll have a couple more fall decor before we finish up the toy shop and really start Christmas creations. Bye. Have a good one.